Walking contradiction, I'ma burn in the hell probably But I'ma keep second waiting, I ain't done Fornicating with women in every flavor What's up guys, so Helen's room has been cleaned up that she's been working on with the slides, let me put a couple of pictures up in here and there's a window so right here and tonight she's going to put up the frames for the curtains that are going to be on there and we're going to hang curtains on there probably put a face in there just you know if someone decides to lift it up to look at it but I just <clears throat> wanted to get a very close look at the drywall work she did on here with the paper so this Peel the paper has been glued on here and they got peeled away to look like drywall has been broken off and it still needs to be aged a little bit but basically you're just gluing pieces of paper down to the edges and then peeling it off in a very obscure manner to make it look nice and pretty and un or natural I mean but yeah her door is looking pretty good and not doors but you know fucking slats <laughs> Slat holes. But yeah, she cleaned it up in here, got the floor nice clean. It still looks fucking dirty. There's just all paint. That's literally shit we cannot clean up. And then I got that window done and aged that wall a little more. And then this room will be done when we add some furniture in the intro. This is of course the first room, so the intro is gonna be nice and cool. We're gonna probably have it's either gonna be a skeleton sitting here talking to you, or it's gonna be a picture on the wall right there. And the light's gonna come under him, and then there's gonna be a speaker up there on that corner, and a speaker up there on that corner, and a sub somewhere. So it's very bassy and theatrical, and gets you in the mood for the rest of the haunt. And then, yeah, this is just hung up because we don't wanna keep pushing through it because we wanna keep it as fresh as possible. It's just the fear flaps and the jute. So, yeah, I will show you the body bag room next after this so I'll see you in a sec oh and before we do the body bag room and show you what, it's, what we're doing in there um, I got these old vintage saws for my friend Kate they just had a fucking garage sale and they're really nice they're gonna be good actor props and they still work so I just gotta take the blades off of them and then, um, those husky bags right there they're not bags they're just giant throw sheets for painting but they're what we're using for the body bags and they're really nice thick uh, plastic and then you wrap them in tape. I'll show you in a second when we go to the body bag room so I'll see you in a second. So here's our body bag room right now. I'll show you some of the body bags we've made. Really all they're made out of is these not thin but about two inches thick foam that's usually on um, futons that comes out of them and then we'll fill them up in those husky uh, they're not, I don't know, they're not bags, they're uh, throw sheets for paint, wrap them up, put foam in them, and then pour a bunch of stain in them so it looks like old blood dripping down inside of them. And then we wrap them completely in packing tape, and they're super sturdy. You can throw them around as much as you want in here, you know, push them around. That's all of them are, and they look really nice, but um, besides the staining I did the other day, in the last video you saw, uh, I put... Hold on, let me zoom in. I put foam. I foamed up most of the walls so we can make them look, you know, grimy. I'm about to paint it black to look like black mold all over the walls. And then there'll be blood over that. Just, you know, make it look very fresh, but yet old blood and mold at the same time. It'll be a really gross room. And up there, you see kind of where that little lip is up there. Right, right, right above my finger. We're gonna get one of the scent dispensers from Froggy's Fog and put the slaughterhouse scent in there. And if you don't know what that smells like, it's really fucking horrible. It's kind of a mix between water that has been sitting out for a long time and just rotting decay and kind of a dead body. It's a very nasty but yet beautiful scent for the haunt. And this body bag room is fucked up with the lights that you saw in the last video, how the lighting works with the controller. And I will be back after I paint up this to look like black mold. So basically how I'm painting these smog mold spots in the wall is I'll put a dab of paint on this brush. So you can see it better. 
Um, I don't know what size brushes they are, just, you know, just small brushes for walls. And I'll put it on there and then I'll just dab on there to make it look moldy. Because I don't want to cover the whole thing up, but you know, I want to make it so it looks like there's something under it, you know, that white mold under the black mold. I'm not sure that's how it works, but I know it just looks grimier on the walls when you do stuff like that. You just dab it on there, you know, so it's not just completely black. See how the rest of these look, just grimy, and then I'm going to add a little green into them. But yeah, guys, I'll be back with the video done in a second of me blacking up the walls and making them look grimy as shit. <clears throat> Alright, so we got the walls done with the flat back acrylic. And they look pretty gross. The thing is down here on these ones where it's, you know... At the bottom, I think it ends pretty discreetly. So I'm gonna put some dabs of acrylic all along the sides of the big lobs. And then I'm going to spray them with water so they're dripping and looking gross as fuck. And I'll show you what's going on after that. So. It's going to leave a little bit exposed of the foam because the later we, when we go on and put a little bit of dab of green in, the mossy green, those parts will be covered up by that and it'll just look really gross. So you guys will see the haunt maze after that. This is like a room full of like dead hanging bodies so... Uh, so yeah, we sprayed like some black spray on the wall. Um, just paint and water and um, that's sort of the base and you fade it a little bit so it like isn't such a like dark black it's like more of a realistic black for a mold color and then what you do is you take like you know some shade of like green or orange or whatever mold tone you're going for and you just dab it on the top of like the peaked marks of whatever monster mud or foam you may have put down beforehand and the color I'm going for is sort of like a, a blue cheese sort of color like that's sort of what I'm going for like the specks of cheese you see in blue cheese like a shade of that color is sort of what I'm going for I want to paint hey I'm Audrey uh, I'm pretty late in the game to uh, haunts but this year <laughs> I'm dating Elijah, so that means I got connections now, and I'm gonna be <laughs> I'm gonna be um, a featured uh, actress. I wanna be playing the piano, and then like look around really creepy. It's gonna be an organ, dude. Organ, yeah, I guess. <laughs> so yeah. Elijah, tell them about you. Nick, <laughs> you could be a you could be a reporter. <laughs> Come on, bro. We want to hear your input, dog. <laughs> Let's hear your input, dog. <laughs> What's my input right now? <laughs> business. <laughs> Say it. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> what about business? Biz <laughs> look, look, business. More CeeLo videos to come. Thanks for watching. Stop. It's fucking amazing. <laughs>